honey would you like to come lay down with me I'm not feeling good I need you to come for me <sighs> yeah so tonight I was watching videos about nature as usual um, and I watched that video about horned lizards. They squirt blood out of their eyes to scare off predators. Oh, that was intense. Oh, I can't unsee it. <laughs> yeah, it's out there on YouTube. You can watch it if you want. Not with me, okay? Mm. I feel better already. Thank you, honey. What if I tell you some facts about nature? That's gonna help you relax and fall asleep. Here's the first one. 100 million years ago in North Africa, there lived a type of crocodile that galloped on land and ate dinosaurs. It looked like dinosaurs even more than today. <laughs> fact about fireflies. So, fireflies are among the many species that are bioluminescent, meaning that they can produce their own light. Fireflies probably originally evolved the ability to light up um, to ward predators, but now they mostly use that ability to find mates. <laughs> Certain mushrooms also glow in the dark. Bioluminescence is one of the factors attracting insects. Um, to the mushrooms to help them spread their spores. It creates a mesmerizing effect as, the, as soon as the sun goes down. Mm, I'd love to see that one day. Did you know that trees communicate using a complex underground network of fungi? This relationship is a great example of symbiosis. So, they attach to the tree's roots to form what is called a mycorrhizal network. It can influence the survival, growth, health, and behavior of the trees um, linked within it. Trees use their network to do such things as communicate and um, share resources such as nutrients. There's a lot more I can say about it, but I'm gonna stop here. Did you know that the black and white tuxedo look done by most penguin species is a clever camouflage called counter shading? The penguin 
white belly serves as camouflage for um, underwater uh, predators looking up and the black um, back serves as camouflage for predators looking uh, down when they're swimming how cool um, did you know that only three to five percent of mammals are monogamous hmm. the majority of mammals are not monogamous do you think uh, humans are monogamous or it's just a cultural thing <laughs> true we're a social species and it's difficult to compare animals to humans <sighs> well I'm happy to be a monogamous person especially in a relationship with you honey <laughs> you know if your needs are different than mine I'm always open to renegotiate our exclusivity arrangement You don't like how I sound? <laughs> how come? I'm too logical. <laughs> I know. I always intellectualize relationships. Well, when you think about the structure of a couple, there's a lot of negotiation in it <laughs> it feels simple to communicate directly openly honestly and naturally to me <laughs> all right more facts um, the smell of a skunk is powerful enough for a human to smell it up to 3.5 miles away <laughs> the full smelling spray from the skunk can also cause like skin irritation and temporary blindness What else? Can you name five types of clouds? <laughs> I'll help you. <laughs> Stratus is the flat, layered, and smooth cloud. Cumulus looks puffy and like a cauliflower then Cyrus it's high up and wispy mm. alto medium level cloud and then nimbus they're the rain-bearing clouds okay, how about climate change now? Canada has one of the highest climate risk index in the world I was very surprised to read that I read that it's warming a lot faster than the rest of the planet More than a million species are at risk of extinction. I'm sure there's a lot more than that. Um, did you know that 
food waste is worse than plastic waste. So, while plastic creates unnecessary CO2 emission, food waste that's left to rot produces huge amounts of methane, posing an even greater threat to the planet. It's also worse than the car CO2 emission. Um, we hear about CO2 all the time, but did you know that methane is more than 25 times as potent of, as CO2 as trapping heat? in the atmosphere. Over the last two centuries, methane concentration in the atmosphere has more than doubled, largely due um, to uh, human-related activities. Um, okay, back to animals now. Altruistic behaviors in animals are fascinating. For example, humpback whale, they're literally heroes. They save um, orcas preys from uh, their attacks such as seals, dolphins, and baby whales. One have been seen turning its stomach up to the surface of water, carrying a seal on its fin to save it from an orca. The reason humpback whales save other animals is because their minds are programmed to respond uh, to um, orcas attacks whether against um, other species or not um, they also chase the orcas um, from the area to prevent other attacks I've watched a bunch of videos of animals being rec rescued by humpback whales. It was very moving. Did you know that Miriqui uh, monkeys love to hug? They often start their day with like a group hug and then they hug each other throughout the day to improve social bonds um, a blind chameleon um, can still take on the colors in the surround surrounding environment. In fact, their skin is involved in that process, not their eyes. They also change color according to their mood and temperature. <clears throat> they have chromatophore cells in their skin that change color. Mm. Now, let's talk about a unique bird that lives in New Zealand, the kiwi. 
so the kiwi doesn't fly it has loose feathers that looks more like fur it's the only known bird with uh, its nostrils at the end of its beak it has almost no sense of smell or not at all it's so cute Did you know that sharks, horseshoe crabs, and jellyfish have been around for longer than trees? The earliest modern tree lived about 345 to 360 million years ago. That's a long time. Jellyfish are the oldest multi-organ animals in the world. They have existed in some form for at least 500 million years. 